welcome students to s union high school and junior college standard 6 subject english prose who is the greatest standard 6 subject english who is who is the greatest who is the greatest narrates akbar and birbal stories which reflect the birbal's wit humor and intelligence Who is the greatest is an interesting story lesson which narrates two of the very popular Akbar and Birbal stories. Akbar would always pose interesting questions and problems in his court, and Birbal, one of his nine gems or now Ratnas, never failed to come up with an answer, displaying his wit and humor. In this lesson, one of the story. Talks about Akbar's questions to his question courtiers. What should be the punishment for someone who pulls my mustache? When everyone called of for strict actions for grave offence, Bilbal smilingly suggests that Akbar should give the offender his favourite sweet meats. After all, he said. Who would be so bold to pull the emperor's mustache, other than his own son? So we're going to read the text now. Emperor Akbar, or Akbar the Great, is known as one of the greatest rulers in the world. Not just because he had a vast empire or a very strong army, untold wealth. but because he was a good human he cared for his subjects he had great respect for scholars writers poets and artists belonging to different religions he was a patron of art and culture the nine gems or the navratnas in his court were famous many people believe that the of these nine gems Bilbil was the closest of the emperor's heart. Akbar loved to pose interesting questions or problems in his court, and Bilbil never failed to come up with an equally interesting answer. So, the first story we are going to read. One day, emperor entered his entered the court with a very serious expression on his face. Soon as he was seated, he said, "I have a question for all of you. What should be the punishment for someone who pulls my mustache?" Court was stunned. Pull emperor's mustache? It was unheard of. Flog him, give him fifty lashes of whip, exclaimed one of the noblemen. That's not enough. Put him into the jail without food and water," said another. "Whip him, beat him, hang him, cut off his offending hands." The agitated courtiers began to cry out. Only Bilbil was silent. He was even smiling a little. What do you say, Bilbil? What is your opinion? In my opinion, O oh giver of peace to the world, offender should be given his favorite sweet meats. Raja Bilbil, are you out of your mind? Give sweet meats for such a grave offense? The courtiers began to say, Bilbil smiled and offered an explanation. Yes, who would be so bold as to pull the emperor's mustache? Only his own grandson. When Akbar heard this, he burst out laughing because that is exactly what had happened in the morning. Now we are going to do some of the meanings here. We have come across vast. Very great in area or size. Empire, a large area ruled by an emperor or supreme authority. Scholars, learned persons, patrons, a person on person supporting her in art and culture. Pose. Prisoners. 
generations all the people born in the same generation agitated angry courtiers attendants at the court offender one who commits an illegal act so here are the meanings which you are going to revise them here the next story is about challenge akbar posed to his courtiers who showed him with a uh, false praises and called him greater than god almighty this he told the courtiers to tell him at least one thing he could do but god almighty would not be able to do here bilbil came to the courtiers rescue he said when you want to punish someone you can punish that person you can throw him out of your kingdom but god's kingdom extends everywhere the almighty cannot banish anyone for his kingdom and the lord was pleased with the answer the humor and wit in akbar and bilbil stories are the reasons for their popularity so here we are going to read the text story on an other occasion akbar was relaxing with some of his courtiers a few of them thought this was a good opportunity to show praise on the emperor and get some favors from him he began to compete with each other in praising akbar you are the greatest of the kings you are the greatest of the kings or the emperors that lived on the earth you are the greatest of all the people in the heaven or earth you are the greatest as god almighty you are greater than the god almighty now akbar was no fool he did not care for his fault praise he stopped the courtiers and asked do you all believe so yes they answered in one voice all right then prove it to me tell me at least one thing that i can do but god almighty will not be able to do otherwise you all incur our royal displeasure you have to tomorrow morning to prove it akbar uh, then left the place without another look at the courtiers they were in a proper fix they thought and thought but could not think of any such a th such thing in the end they went to bilbil when bilbil heard their story he told them not to worry the next morning the court was full everyone was curious to see what would happen next well said the emperor have you found a good answer to my wishes or you are ready to leave the court forever just then bilbil stepped forward and bowed low please don't be angry with those who think you are the greatest there certainly at least one thing that you can do but the god almighty cannot akbar looked at bilbil thoughtfully and what is that one thing when you all want to punish someone you can punish that person you can throw him out of your kingdom but god's kingdom extends everywhere the almighty cannot banish anyone from his kingdom but his face was lit up with smile that was very clever bilbil while showing how i have an advantage you have also shown him 
the great that that god is greater i believe you all akbar was so pleased with the answer that he forgave the courtiers for their stupidity so we have here some of the meanings which we came across in the last lesson opportunity circumstances which ensure that something can be done this pleasure annoys someone you can that something which annoys you disturbs you banish sent away into exile stupidity lack of cleverness and one thing something which provides one of the favor favorable positions for our assignment we are going to do some of the activities for example like reading the story or you can have a dialogue writing between the courtiers akbar and begbel the next one you can have that is write a short note on emperor akbar you can write a short note on emperor akbar another one you can find at least five other akbar and birbal stories and read them 